Hey guys, welcome back to some more Risk of Rain. So today we are going to play as the Enforcer, because we haven't played as him in a while. Last time we played as the Enforcer, we won, so I think it's time to, you know, try another run with the Enforcer, see how well we can do with him. Uh, I should open that, can that canister. And I'm not planning on having this run be too long, because I'm actually fairly tired. And, uh, I'm just, really, I'm just recording this just to give you guys a video. And that was bad. So, gotta get back into the groove of the Enforcer, of course. Because it's been a cool minute since we played as him. Like, literally, it was like, play as him, win, and then haven't touched him since. Because it's just like, oh, I won with him. But, of course, this might be a little bit more difficult now since we are on medium mode. And the reason why we are on medium mode is because we still need to get more monster logs so we can hopefully unlock the uh, uh, Huntress. And hopefully get to the third level so we can fight Acrid. Um, those are all good items. I would actually, you know, healing is good, you know. I have no complaint with healing. If I can speed up how fast I heal, then that is, that is no problem to me. I do not mind that. There's no skin off my back. We're getting the Wandering Vagrant, which is a fine boss to fight. Actually, it's not a very good boss to fight for the Enforcer. Actually, it's a pretty bad boss to fight for the Enforcer, because the things can go behind my shield and pop me in the face, which would definitely suck, because I don't want that to happen, but, of course, uh, there's nothing I can really do about that, you know, is there? You know? So let's pretty much just survive until uh, my countdown is over, and then, well, while fighting, slowly fighting the Vagrants, and then, uh, hopefully, uh, just, you know, do my whole trick shield movements. Oh, not the, not the jellies. I need to kill the jellies. Definitely need to kill the jellies before they freaking wreck my face like that. Oh my god, jellies, leave me alone. Jellies, 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 calm down. Oh, get off the rope. I don't even know why I was on that rope. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, I leveled up. That's good. At least I leveled up. <laughs> Probably should have waited a little while, at least until I was like level 3 before I started fighting the boss. Because I am definitely not dish dishing out enough damage to really put this Vagrant in its place. It had to be the Vagrant, didn't it? Why can't I fight the Colossus? I guess that's asking for too much, huh? Because the Colossus is like the easiest boss on the first stage. Alright, all the enemies have spawned. Now I pretty much just need to take out the Wandering Vagrant slowly but surely. Like I said, there's no point in putting down a shield, because he can just hit me from behind my shield, so that would be dumb. And that's the reason why the Vagrant is so hard for this character. Overall, not too hard of a boss, but definitely, just for this particular character, it's a hard boss to face. Still, Enforcer's still probably one of my favorite characters, just because I like how cheesy he is. There we go. Oh my god, and I get like the worst freaking tier 2 item I could possibly ask for. Like, are you kidding me? I couldn't ask for a worse item. Back off. I think last time I actually played as this character, I didn't have my controls at, like, the A game that I currently have. Well, it's not A game, but I'm pretty much at peak performances that I like the controls to be at, so. You know, I like, I like where the jump button is. I pretty much overall just like where all the controls are at. Uh, I still haven't got my new controller yet, if you guys remember correctly. Uh, my controller is still kind of broke. I need to get an new controller, my A button has pretty much been pushed in so much that it's pretty much caved in. Which you can see, it's pretty good. I'll actually get some more healing. I'd rather take a good item that I, well, a decent item that I definitely know than take a, a chance on getting an item that might just be crap, like, I don't know. I can, uh, psh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a shitty item right now. Uh, I'll go ahead and fight them. Because I can just pretty much just put them all against the wall and blow them up. Oh, yep, and get that knife. I'll make them all run over there. They all run into a corner. And then I shoot the missile, and the missile's boom! Alright, more healing. Uh, what the hell was I talking about? Like a crappy, I was talking about crappy items or something. 
I can't remember what the hell I was talking about. Uh, that canister might... Oh, yeah, those, I was about to say, those... One canister might be enough to get me this 25 chest, but two, two should be enough. Two should be enough to get me the, the item. Yep. Just enough. Another mortar tube. Alright. I'm not sure how I feel about mortar tubes, especially when I'm using a character that doesn't proc with the items too much. And we finish in about five minutes. And we finish that fairly quickly. I must say. No complaints, though. <laughs> and on we go to stage two. Hopefully, we finally unlock Acrid. That's that's my biggest accomplishment, of course. Collecting more uh, uh, monster logs. Because I want to play as the Huntress. And pretty much, I want to play as the two most powerful characters in the game, and I don't have them unlocked. And of course, we're in this place, which is probably... The enforcers, one of the enforcers, worst places because of those damn uh, mushies. Those mushies are gonna be like the death of me. I swear to God, they are, <laughs> because they don't care about my shield. They poison me, and I, I get stuck in the poison, and it sucks, and I die. So screw the little mushy guys. I'm guessing that there's probably an item over here. All right, I'll probably come back for that, especially since it's a tier three. Just looking for the teleporter right now. I'm getting chased down by enemies. Hopefully we don't fight fight something too difficult. And there it is. There's not a lot of enemies that aren't too difficult for this character, actually. Magmorm is a difficult boss. But it's not too difficult because the grenade hits multiple sections, which is definitely good. It's, it's like the saving grace of, of this character against the Magmorm. Is that you could just throw the, the frag grenade and it just hits multiple parts of the boss. Therefore, uh, it's not as hard, see? So, you already see, I hit him with one frag grenade and I took out like a huge chunk of his HP just because I hit him with that frag grenade. That too. Multiple sections were bleeding, because I do have two knives. So, hopefully I'll be able to... Oh, I pressed the button for my frag grenade and I don't know why it didn't go off. There we go. So as you can see, doing a lot of damage. Lots and lots of damage. I'm trying to just really just run away for right now. Because I'm trying not to get killed. Because there's a lot of things that do a lot of damage here. Pretty much just waiting for my time to run out, of course. That's a big part of it. And then, fuck that little mushy. Ah, I don't like the little mushroom dudes. Wow, I don't even know how the hell I missed him. You saw that? I just straight up just missed the worm. There we go. Burning Witness is actually a pretty decent item. I must say. Go ahead and put my shield down. Back off. And slowly just back up. Fall down here. Fight the enemies down here. Hopefully don't run into the mushy's poison, because that could definitely be the end of me, with ease. Uh, Burning Witness, like I said, is a pretty decent item. Alright, I can stand up now. Alright, go up here. Ouch! Ooh, that did a lot of damage. I was trying to put my shield down. Damn, they were just camping me up there. I can stand up. Now just keep shooting the enemies up here. You, you gotta admit, that was a pretty good move. Try it again. Uh-uh, get up. <laughs> oh my god, this platform up here is gonna be like the hardest platform. Uh-oh. We got the enemy who doesn't get stunned. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Enemy, you can stop jumping. You can stop jumping. There you go. And I do want to kill that little enemy down there if I can get, get to him. I can't even get to him. Wish he would just jump down. Like, why are you up there like that? 
can't even get to you. I can't even I can't even get to this enemy. My gosh. How am I supposed to Did that hit him? I can't even tell if that hit him or not. Alright, this platform right here, this is gonna be a hard ass platform for me. That's pretty much poison. The poison is going to hurt. Most definitely. Alright, need to get up. Wish I had a little bit more healing. Bustling fungus would be nice. Uh, back off. Kill lots of different enemies. There we go. Only five more enemies to kill. Well, I'm up here. I might as well just climb up and go ahead and unlock that. <sighs> wow, that was a terrible jump. I jumped way too early, though. I just wanted to make sure that I made the jump, you know. That I didn't just slip off, but I ended up not jumping far enough. Um, go ahead and go over here, open this container. He's a little mushy up here, so I'm gonna kill him. There we go, wait for the poison to go away. Is there any enemies up here, actually? I don't think so, but there might be. There's a drone, I don't want that. Alright, so jump off here. And then we'll go in here and unlock this. Harvester Scythe. The crits give me health. That's decent. Wish there was something to increase my crit rate. Oh, I got one spec, so... A little bit higher than usual. Still haven't figured out how to get to this enemy right now. I wish the enemy would just fall. There we go. There we go. Good. I was worried about that. I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to get in there and kill that enemy? This is bullshit. This game's cheating me. Alright, we got three enemies up here. Kill them real quick. We might walk around a little bit. We got a little bit of money, so. I didn't mean to do that. I'll tell you the truth. There we go. I'm gonna quickly just... There we go. And we can move on to stage 3 where hopefully we'll fight Acrid and unlock him because I want to be playing as Acrid soon. We're really starting to run out of decent characters. Well, not not saying these characters, but, you know, the game is starting to get a little bit stale because we keep playing as the same characters because we're not unlocking anybody else. There's just so many drones. The problem is that I can't really protect them. You know, I'll be using my shield to protect myself, but the drones are still going to get hurt. So, is it really that smart to get drones, especially with this character? Yeah, I'm not so sure. That's what I'm worried about. So, we'll look for items. Specs are good. I will always take more critical. I have no problem with getting more critical. Also, it would be nice to get like a ghost hooder. Ghost, goat's hood. Hopefully or something. Oh, I want to get up there. Get the items in there. Those items look real good. Ugh. I got... Oh, speaking of go hoof, I will definitely buy that, despite the healing, but I, I need to speed myself up a little bit. And a tier 2 truss. Valium. So good. Alright, this run is turning out pretty decent now. You know, it'd be a shame to find up losing, especially with Valium, like... Valium is a great item. It's probably one of my favorite tier 3 items in the game. Probably, uh, therefore, my favorite item in the game. Uh, it just does so much damage. It just gets the job done. Wow, I can't believe I just fell off there. That was... That was embarrassing. <laughs> I was too busy trying to say what I was trying to say that I wasn't really paying attention <laughs> to my movement. And another mortar tube. Ugh. I'm nothing gets mortar tubes, but... I don't need, like, freaking 50 billion of them. Like, really? Alright. 14 minutes and we're already on hard mode, but that's medium mode for you. Nope. We're out of money. More money, more problems, because the longer you take. Alright. And we're just going to head over to the teleporter, hopefully go and fight Acrid. Hopefully. Because at this point, this is just getting ridiculous. I'm probably the only risk or rain player in the entire world that doesn't have acrid. Nope. No acrid. No acrid. Awesome. Isn't that great? We're never gonna unlock this damn ass. <laughs> oh my god. So, is the bridge complete today? And then, so if it's complete, we might go to Bourbon Beach and actually, you know, wrap around just to fight acrid. Nope. The bridge is not complete. So, nope. 
no accurate this run, guys. Sorry about that. Know how much you guys really wanted to see me use accurate, but nope. We're gonna go another episode of me not being able to play as him. At least this stage isn't too hard for uh, this character. Uh, the enemies, there's no r real enemy that can get behind my shield once I put it down, so. We're just pretty much looking for the teleporter at this point. It doesn't look like there's anything. I should be keeping like a, a list of where things are in this game right now. In the stage right now. Uh, there's a tier 2 chest down there, a tier 1 right there, another tier 1. You know, I'm trying to get a my mind wrapped around where everything is so when I go to spend my money I know where to immediately find it at instead of having to hunt around and here we go here's a teleporter awesome so who are we fighting Colossus alright I'll, I'll fight Colossus I have nothing against fighting Colossus I do have something against that missile guy though he 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 can go eat a dyke <laughs> not for that Trying to find me a nice comfy corner to park myself in. Right here, that's nice. And pretty much go to town on these guys. Actually, you know what? Actually, a better thing. This freaking fire drone is doing some damage to me, too. A better idea would actually be to jump up here and put in work. Alright, everybody back off. Get off of me. Oh, Thallium! Ooh, kill him! Like, everybody get down. Like, I see... Like, that's really annoying when the frickin' Clayman jump up above me, therefore getting behind my shield. Like, literally, like, seriously, like, back off. Do you wanna put your shield down, please? Ah, uh, I guess not. I guess not. I press the button to put my shield down, and I don't. Therefore, I'm getting my butt kicked this round. Great. Oh, obviously it's time to run. And I might be dead right now. Yep, I'm dead right now. Wow. I did. I did. It sucks that I was pressing the button to put my shield down and I wasn't putting my shield down. <sighs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to call this one a short one because I'm tired and I'm hungry and i got a lot more things to do. So I apologize for the shitty run, but, like, seriously, that was dumb. But that's the unfortunate for you. You don't get behind that shield. You're dead. Really wish I would have got a little bit more healing. You know, bustling fungus. I love bustling fungus. I definitely would have asked for that. So, I'm going to call this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Maybe next run uh, we can actually go to the correct place. Because I really, after this, I really wasn't looking forward to continuing the game. I wanted to unlock Accurate, and obviously we didn't go to fight Accurate, so that sucks. <sighs> so, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys next time. Hopefully, we'll fight Accurate.